hello everyone uh, so in today's video i'll be talking about the questions related to the user management uh, user management is mostly the admins related uh, uh, part but uh, everybody be it admin or a developer or a consultant be it, everybody should know uh, about user management and in in an interview typically you will get a question uh, one or two question from from this topic so user management is uh, very critical let's begin the topic uh, so the very first important question from the user management is that what is the difference between deactivating or freezing a user uh, many new candidates get this question or if you are giving an interview for an administrator role uh, this is a very important and critical questions deactivating versus freezing is uh, is a common question mostly what happens is that when you deactivate a user uh, use your user will not be able to log in and your license will uh, you know you will be able to utilize that license uh, for any other uh, user you can assign that license to someone else while if you freeze the user all the user will not be able to log in but you cannot use his license for any other user you cannot assign that license to someone else so that's a major difference no mostly when you freeze a user uh, freezing a user only happens when let's say your user is going away for let's say uh, let's say uh, a vacation of two months three months so maternity maternity leave or something where you don't want to deactivate the user because there are certain automations or certain certain rules are assigned to him but but you also don't want him to log in as well so that's why sometimes you do freeze the user but most of the time you will deactivate the user okay so this was the first question the second question is why we cannot delete the users in salesforce why there i mean we can we can delete accounts we can delete contacts everything why we cannot delete users why we can only deactivate it so uh, the core reason behind this is that you users are basically a setup object and they hold certain automations and a lot of other things related to the owners of particular uh, records so they are owners they, they can be reports running on those users they can be uh, approval processes running on those users so see deleting them will uh, delete a lot of other things which you don't want to delete like like it will impact the you know history as well so, so let's say somebody has created a report even though he has left the organization you don't want to change that particular field stamp you don't want to change that created by uh, from this user to someone else because uh, that will basically tamper the history of that particular uh, record or object so that is why you will not get an option to delete a user because it has historical impact it will change the data it will change the behavior your your organization is working that is why salesforce has not allowed you to uh, deactivate the user uh, sorry delete the user you can only deactivate it and if you have deactivated the user and user was uh, you know owner of let's say account or contacts or something he will still be owner of that so you need to make sure that you have a certain kind of deboarding activity where you are uh, kind of uh, pulling all the data where this particular user was owner and change the ownership before deactivating the user okay uh, they can be they can be reports on on his personal folders or something which are required by someone else and you you need to you need to keep a track of all those things and have a have a proper deboarding um, steps available in your org if you are managing org if you are an administrator of an org okay and then uh, if you have created user you must have uh, seen this field manager id most of the time in interviewer asks this why do we have this manager id what's the use of this manager id and uh, what is the relation between the actual user and the manager user so this is a very classic exam example of self relationship user is look up to user so this is a kind of hierarchical relationship as well and manager id field is mostly used for the approval yeah. process or it can be used for multiple uh, automations as well like you have set an automations to assign something to users manager so then you will use this field most of the time we use it for the approval process like if you have to submit it for approval it will go to users manager for the approval okay uh, then the fourth question is can a guest user be the approver of a particular record let's say you have a atom automation on uh, account and you submit a record for the approval can a guest user be the approver of that particular record yes a guest user can be approver of that particular uh, that particular uh, record or he can reassign it to to someone else as well but now 
after i think win, uh, winter 23 he'll not be able to delete or deactivate or something deleting a particular record uh, for uh, for the uh, if you have submitted it for the approval and uh, guest user cannot delete it so that's uh, that's a uh, uh, restriction salesforce has allowed now uh, okay the other very important question is that why you can create a uh, why you can create a uh, a uh, user without uh, role but you cannot create a user without profile this is a very classic and very important question most of the time if uh, you know you get admin topic you will get this questions why you can delete uh, why you can create a user without role but cannot create without a uh, profile see so most of the time i mean what happens in salesforce is that profile is very critical profile is associated with what a user can do it is very important to define his profile in order to let them know what they can do uh whereas role is mostly related to uh, what they can see so if in case we have not assigned any role they will get something by default based on the owd and sharing rule sharing settings and everything so it is not something without that you cannot create a user but without profile you will not be able to create create a user see most of the time in an interview you see if you get a topic which you don't know or if you get a question which you don't know try to you know get to close to that topic rather than answering randomly or something try to get to close to that particular topic and tell him whatever where you know uh, a kind of baseline of that particular topic so if you don't know uh, you can say that you you have no idea about that but uh, it's okay if you just tell the baseline of that okay uh, there is a checkbox service cloud whenever you create a user uh, uh, sometimes interviewer asks what is the use of that particular checkbox and just like service cloud there are couple of other checkboxes as well like flow user uh, like knowledge user so do do make sure that you know about them in case of service cloud if you check that you will get in some additional functionality you will be able to go to service console and see how the chats are coming or how your uh, service agents are logging and all so if you do not have uh, checked this checkbox and if your admin will try to go to service console they will not be able to access those things okay uh you uh, sometimes you get uh, whenever you create a user uh, uh, sometimes your team wants to uh, automate those things to assign a assign that user to a particular queue or to a particular permission set or send them uh, send them welcome email or something like that so these kind of automation questions sometimes interviewer ask what will be your approach so you can you can choose your uh, process automation tool most of the time you will be able to do most of the basic things with the flow so depending on what they ask sometimes process automation questions also do come in uh, to automate things on the user management okay <clears throat> okay uh sometimes i mean i've got this questions on a very early stage of my career is that uh, there is a login hour set in uh, in a user from morning 8 am to 8 pm what user did is they logged in at 755 they were log in and then what will happen at 8 pm what will happen will they still be logged in uh, because they have recently logged in or they log out and they will lose all the work so if there is a login hour set they will log out at 8 pm but all their work will be stored <laughs> so it will not be likely if they were doing something that will be that will be lost they will uh, they will i mean salesforce will store their work but it, it is recommended that if login hours is set then you need to make sure that before logging out you are if you you should save all your work uh, you know uh, before before your login hour completed all right uh okay sometimes you get this questions although this uh, is kind of advanced thing uh, what is federation id so federation id is basically related to the sso and uh, if you don't know much about it or if you have not implemented sso don't worry about it you just say that this is related to single sign on we provide this id and username to to it team or whosoever enables the sso this does not only i mean this is not only related to salesforce but your it team is also involved in this so make sure if you know just tell them or if you don't know just tell them that this is related to this single sign on and to enable single sign on we need to talk to it people and and provide them something then uh, they ask you what is debug mode there is a checkbox for the debug mode uh, they ask you what is debug mode so debug mode is basically to debug the ui related things if you have developed a complex lightning web components which has a lot of javascript and uh, what happens if this is disabled you will get a kind of uh, 
uh, modified errors and if you want to debug that uh, debug that in in more details if you enable this checkbox you will get detailed error or detailed logs in your in your console so you can you can debug your console if you have checked this checkbox you will be i mean it will be easier for you to debug it but only if you are debugging something otherwise you should make sure that this is turned off because this reduces the performance of page your page will load slow and and it will it will impact the performance so it is at i mean it is recommended to turn this off if it is not required um, so these are the most of the questions i found on the um, user management that the but uh, you know there, there are more questions on the user management if you include the single sign-on related to this then single sign-on has a lot of questions of its own and i'll make a video on single sign-on related questions in a separate video thank you feel free to talk to me in case of you have a doubt on any of these questions or any other question related to my video thank you so much guys thank you